Where's my pen? Where's my pen? So, what happened last time? Should be pretty quick, clean, and simple. The fastest uh, answer fought. is we fought Auntie Blackreach and won. The I'm longer answer. Quite surprising. Uh, we Go took on. the field. Uh, we split into groups of four. Uh, we ended up fighting the Hayes School first, and then Malfrey Dillis took the field and we fought both of them together. Uh, Hayes School died. F no, Malfrey died first. Uh, then the Hay School, and then Arthur Black Reach uh, was the last one. Uh, Redain convinced her, "Oh yeah, we're totally gonna let you live if you just uh, put, put down your arms uh, and surrender." Uh, and she bought it like an idiot. And mm -hmm. then we all uh, ganged up on her, and absolutely slaughtered her. While Redain took a knee and picked up Brennan's severed head. Oh, and uh, One Eleven freed all the uh, other members of the family that were spontaneously. Created mid fight, and also given their true name, yeah. and given their true name. Well, yeah, probably. Uh, we also gave the head of Auntie Blackreach to Blair, I believe. I think Sajar just chopped that off unceremoniously. Hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, there was also Alexander. Go on. Alexander had died mid combat and was revived by Kasai. Vaso had died also mid combat very violently and was revived also by Kasai. <laughs> well, uh, no, no, yeah, they died and then we were revived by Kasai. That's what happened. Someone did waste a healing potion though, thinking he wasn't uh, unbelievably dead. Uh, hey, you gotta have to man. You gotta try. Uh, yeah, there was also one line that was very important. Uh, we heard. I can't remember his name. Zyder? Zyder? Big giant? That's the bow guy. One? Yep. Yeah, the bow guy. Yeah, Zyder, Zyder. Um, I don't know why I'm saying Zyder, Zyder like his name is Mario Mario. Um, <laughs> uh, he said in Giant, which turns out none of us actually speak that, besides Tolus, uh, mm -hmm. the cracked earth shall meet the sky, water, and flame. Oh, I hate my handwriting. Uh, washing <laughs> the dream away, revealing crushing reality. And I'm going to rewrite that in a minute, because, my god, my handwriting. <laughs> <Don't look at laughs> the fucking <laughs> big Yudas. Oh my Jesus. god. That, that was so good. much less damage than the- I think she did like 78 damage or something. You're misreading it, mate. <laughs> I spent this entire fight feeding this one freaking move. Like, You're misreading it, Garf. Mm. That's not 60 damage. Oh, that's 60 feet. Oh, 60 feet. Wee. 50 damage for every 15 feet thrown, so that's 40 10. No. If you fail, it gets worse. <laughs> Five or one. Which does... I think he automatically fails because <clears throat> he auto failed. Yeah. Yes. Five, ten. So for this, if you utter fail, that would be 2d6 for every 10 feet, so 12d6. Mm -hmm. This is a so... low roll, too. Yeah. yeah it is. I think the Very one you hit Vasa with was um, 78, Max. I think I said. Oh, it was just straight Max. Back. Right! Yeah, well, yeah, because, he was, like, because he's unconscious. You just line that shit up and chuck it. Yeah, so that's like... A hundred something feet? So that's 20 d6 damage on Tavaso? Normally, you need like a nightfall as well to get that sort of equivocal damage. Anyways, so... Anything else? Yeah. Turns out, when someone has the strength of a giant... And the determination to chuck a undead bot or uh, undead unconscious body, they can go very far. Um, mm -hmm. that, 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 that. Anything no, else? No, that's uh, pretty succinct. It was a lot of fighting for like six hours. Uh, right. Near like the sort of uh, last third of the fight, uh, not Lambert had done something pretty uh, spiffy, where he kind of created like this uh, vortex that made all of our range attacks kind of like. Bullet curve around uh, uh, cover and stuff like that. Yeah. Yes. The, the, nightmare the, link. the best way I would describe it is it's a mic trying to imagine shooting around the. Oh god, what's it called? The horizon threshold of a block. Mm -hmm. Grab right. well. uh, Grab, yeah. Yeah. The uh, event horizon. No, that's like the part that can't. Uh... Yeah, the power by which if you pass it, you're <laughs> mixed. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 
That's the way I would describe it. Anything else? My friends. Uh, Lambert, I guess not Lambert. L the thing that replaced Lambert did, like, get a turn, and I think all I did was walk, but that's all I could tell. I think he no, might have done something else, I just don't know. <laughs> but that's about all. That's all I could say on it. Huh? Distorted reality? Yeah, he, the nice. phrase was, he distorted reality, but all that happened on the field was he moved 30 feet, and I was like, what does this mean? <laughs> Crazy. Uh, yeah. Besides, like, scenery of, like, oh, Blair showed up on, like, wings with cool-ass swords and shit, and uh, I mm -hmm. think we're fine. No one died Alrighty. pretty great at all? Like, it's, well, permanently, anyway. Success? Yeah, that's what I meant. Oh, yeah, yeah, we had no casualties. No casualties. Flawless mission. Even though fucking, uh, uh, more Thor, Thor, more, Thor what is his name? Thormont, Thor thank Thor you. Uh, Thormont Thor literally and got Porkshop. consumed by uh, Priscilla's tail, which grew another mouth. <laughs> That's when he died. He couldn't get worse. <laughs> Explosive diarrhea. No, oh, was actually one of the... none of us think no, <laughs> I was actually no. I, I went through a whole list of names as to what to name it name him busting out and di explosive diarrhea was was one. There's also <laughs> biting off more than you could chew, but that was way too long. Mm -hmm. Um I Dwarven Hemorrhoids was another one. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, no. my God. That's awful. oh god, it's like oh, hemorrhoids or iron cast. Yeah, so No There's no just know a lot of thought went into Ass Blast <laughs> for the name alone. <laughs> Too much went into I'm glad. It. I'm glad. Honestly, if you swallow whole the dwarf that specializes in explosives, you're you want to die. You you are. <laughs> it's the peaceful option. That, that is suicide. Yeah, there, there's just no other way about it, you know. Yeah, project pr uh, a suicidal only other explanation. Clearly. Mm -hmm. Oh. uh... Oriana almost got possessed mid battle, and then it took literally every resource we had, or I had, I should say, to uh, not. <laughs> you owe Silas a drink. Hmm. He, also... we literally hopped in the other call, and we're talking, and we were going through all the resources he's dropping, and then he hit me with a, "Oh shit, I'm Bardic!" <laughs> and I was, just like, I was just like, "Okay, first off, that was loud as shit. Secondly, yes, you do." Oh my god, that's amazing. I needed a one, and I, then I rolled a one he, on he it. He literally like, needed right. exactly a one. Yeah, that's all he needed. Oh my god. I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, so, um... I think that's it. That's That should be it. I don't think any... I don't know if anything... Um, fucking Redane did some cool shit of launching a fucking wall at some guys. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That was pretty fun. That was pretty yep. fun, not gonna lie. It's like, okay, so I can move this, like, 40 feet. All right, so two of these people are dead. <laughs> the other ones are encased in vines. Let's see. Band name. Band name. So All right, um... Nice. Uh, uh... <gasps> Excuse me? I... You already used yours? Yeah, you did, yeah. I'm, not, I'm right. gonna use it anyway. Fuck you. All right, losing inspiration. <laughs> no! I don't have one. <laughs> ah, so the next right. one you get, and you is have gone. a negative inspiration bank. Congratulations! No, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'll never see it again. What, what a fucking shame, huh? That's <laughs> great, <laughs> shield your feet. <laughs> mm. Um, yeah. So let's us. Uh, I swear, is the music not repeat? Yeah, no. it stopped. Oh fuck yeah! I love when this God happens. God damn it! Every fucking time. Every time. Why is it always on Saturday? Hmm. Only when you need it. Well, it's probably always on Saturday because you only use it on Saturday. I don't know how. But okay. somehow, I know it's Garth's fault. <laughs> Somewhere along the line. You, you, you weren't hot. Oh, I saw you delete the message. All right, <laughs> whatever, man. All right, let's uh, get into. Let's see, what should we play? Um, not vote on the mission's already done. Although that would be pretty fun. Um, what's like travel back to town music, and then be. Oh, we aren't just it. going right back to town. You silly, silly, silly summer child. 
No. No. Why not? Why not? Oh, you, you should fix you... this in the corner, actually. This one right over here. We're going back mm -hmm. eventually, right? Yeah, you have to go right. back eventually. Okay. <laughs> there you go. So. So. So, 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 so. We pick up approximately an hour, maybe hour and a half later after the operation's completion. Yes, you guys will have had the chance to take a short rest before anyone asks me on it. As of right now, most of the captains are busying themselves with what is lovingly referred to as throat cutting duty, as well as doing a sweep of the entire island. Any items, artifacts, relics, ritual sites, anything and everything is getting swept. Predominantly by the secret captains, of course. That being said, it is only two of the secret captains doing such endeavors, as Janik is overseeing the operation from a distance, and Blair is absent from the throat-cutting duties. You guys are situated on one of the shores of the lake, near one of the planar lockdown pylons, now defunct. And the Slayers have already pushed out a ways to set up a perimeter deeper in the woods. But for the time being, it's just final checks, and per Captain Janix's instructions, it's not a duty of an adventurer. Go get some rest. You guys deserve it. So, you guys are sort of just idling, chilling, recuperating. Uh, Vaso is probably in an immense state of repair right now by Tolis and Merica. As he probably had, like, Mortal Kombat fatality style, like, 90% of the bones broken in his body. Uh, we did not know he could have that many bandages on him. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's, like, uh, it's like in Blackwatch, which is only a reference only three of you will get, casting Mending on Bones. <laughs> it, is not a, it is not a pleasant experience. But, it but he's works. getting through it, and luckily, luckily, Zal brought along some booze to make it easier. So, we just have the you guys mode. are here. You guys are praise on. And before you ask, yes, the Nightmare Exemplar is with you. He just sort of stands there menacingly. He doesn't say anything. He doesn't even really look around. He just sort of follows you guys as a collective whole. Some of the Seekers and Slayers have eyed him as he's going by, but they actually have heard of it before because, you know... Yeah. Like Janik, well not Janik, um, Blake saw it and stuff like that, so they know them. Yeah, it's he's a known quantity. Factor. Yeah, correct. So, you guys also have one eleven and all of the family <laughs> in their various states of sanity or peculiarity, rather. Can we make sure to get them pants? They have blankets on. No, that works. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> they were born into existence just to fucking have all their shit immediately yep, burned. Yep, yep. <laughs> Bunch of existence naked and screaming. Sounds about right. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you guys do? There is a fire set up, don't worry. And is he, it's not even a stealth fire this time. It's just a normal fire. Okay. Uh, I think first things first is as he's sort of... Uh, I think still in the single digits for health, because we haven't long rested yet. Um, he took a, it was a short rest, though. Oh, yeah. But we're in the middle of it. He's recuperating. Uh, he also, for like the last two rounds of combat, was... Uh, Onto the effects of what is it? Uh, power word pain. Power pain. So. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, ow. Just yeah. Around, like, oh god. Oh god. Yeah. <laughs> it went away after Auntie you Blackridge see. died, but you probably right. it's not a pleasant experience to have even experienced. You, no. You spent the last rounds stunned from haste, dead, and power word pain. Yep. You're just straight up not having a good time. 
No, he, he, he is... commission coming, buddy! Uh... <laughs> yeah! Uh... <laughs> even, like, uh... For, like, the first half of combat when he was... Wounded here and there, which I don't even... No, actually, he... I don't think he got hit until... He went down that in that combat, so never mind. But... I, I guess, for... The few days that you guys have known him... Uh, Alessandra has... Uh, kept this sort of, like, poise about him. You know, back straight and things like that. Very disciplined stance but he's thrown that all to the wind he he's he's absolutely fucking exhausted right now like physically uh, and mentally because he got vengeance yeah uh That's he's he's probably like just got his uh, uh coat draped over his shoulders like a fucking blanket um sitting next to the fire um and i guess is everyone else sitting by the fire yes. yeah probably yeah relaxing as best as they can yeah mm -hmm. So if no one else is doing anything else, uh, Alessandra would just uh, quietly speak up and say, uh, f Forgive me if I'm mistaken, but... Did I... Did I die back there? Uh... I... From what I could see, uh... Maybe? You definitely took some very heavy hits from what I saw. Last thing I remembered before... You know... Mm. Everything went black was... I was... Squaring off against Duluth. And a bunch of his heirs charged me. And next thing I know... He's dead, and I'm looking up at that one there. And he points over to Kasai. Kasai is sitting on a stump nearby, but her attention isn't really paying attention to you guys. She keeps, like, staring at the Nightmare Exemplar. Damn. Hmm. Well, the important thing is, is that you're here now. kind of smirks and says uh, I think there's a few more things more important than that like here and then he gestures over towards uh, the what did you call it the nightmare exemplar yeah yeah your, have your friend it. looks a bit worse for wire that's an understatement right Out of room on this fucking slide for the people. Hmm? Shut up. It'll fit. Does, it, does he speak when, like, talking to him? Yeah, we're clearly yeah, addressing yeah. it. Talk to him. Lambert, are you in there? It turns to look at you. And shakes its head. Message, say the same thing. <laughs> you receive the following message back. Your friend is not here. Okay, sending to Lambert. <laughs> the fuck is you? <laughs> I'm, oh, I'm just moving. Yeah, I'm moving everything. We need. We need the space. Oh, I thought it was gonna fit. It is gonna fit once I move everything. Yeah, Thank you, you for dialing the Lambert hotline. Happened. Your call is very important to us. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Please stay on the line while we get you an operator. Riddick is too big, but he could stay that way. Um, <laughs> Damn right he is. Uh, my bad. I, I saw what you put. 
So we, we need to... Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. That'll work. Uh, and then we can put... 111 himself. The Edge Boy. I mean, there's, there's two Edge Boys. I mean, come on. Yeah, but he's the Edge Boy. Oh my yeah, gosh, yeah, look at it. Who's your first? Um, does 111 still have the ring? I imagine he probably does. He does. Unless he would have given it to Silas, who would continuously ask. If you would ask him, he'll mm -hmm. give it to you. Yeah. Let's see. Got that sending. What is it, like a D20 on like a 1? It doesn't work. Normally, yes. Oh, roll me a D100. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let me get back to my computer. All good, all good. I guess I guess I could do this. Let's see. Not present. Not present. Crazy. Not present. Not present. Not present. Not present. Not present. This is trying to desperately get space. Yeah. I mean, I can still see him on my screen. There's no gym. Damn! Smack dab in the middle. Hmm. Oh. I only hear the occasional. Yeah. Of a laugh. Yep. yep. Oh you God. <laughs> on, a D1, on a D100, you were one off. He needed a oh 49 to look. <laughs> oh. No, he needed a 51. Uh. You do. It does not work. In, in what way? It does not connect. You send out the sending spell, anticipating a, some sort of connection and a, and a sub, potentially subsequent message back within the next, you know, half a minute or so. The connection never happens. As you attempt to, you know, connect, you just sort of get this, like, sort of, like, uh, how to say, static. Like, this sort of vibration. This is sort of... Of whatever connection you were attempting to do, as it sort of ripples back to you. Okay, fourth level, do it again. Roll eighty one hundred. There it is. This time, the connection does secure. It still has some of that static feel to it. The way I would describe it is: you ever sit on your leg or your arm, or sleep on your arm, and it's like all like dead. Yep. And then has that sort of like tingly sensation as it like the blood goes back into it. It's sort of like that, except your brain. You send out the message over to Lambert. It does connect. You know that. You get the res following response back. But then, I am where I need to be. I do not know how you can get to me. But no. I am not trapped in the exemplar. He goes by Cell Nordwig, by the way. And message. My bad, Nordvig. Vig. How many words is that? Yeah, well, that's not important. Enough. Okay. Um, he would just sort of stare off and uh, look back. Then you're doing that thing you're doing when you keep things to yourself. Words, please. <laughs> <laughs> he said he's fine. This eye looks over to you as you say that, but doesn't comment. Uh, 
I'll just yeah, sits down and sits by the fire quietly. Such as it is. Hmm. Eventually, if you guys you got to idle for another ten some minutes. Uh, 111 does come up to you guys. I guess, in particular, he'd probably go to Silas and Deets. I don't really... know... what to do next. He looks over at the family. Oh. What did happen to them? Takes a deep breath. I don't suppose you want to take them with you. Tessel looked to Deet and be like, I could. He, um, responds. I don't see an issue. We'd have to talk to everyone else, I guess. Of course. But I suppose they don't have anywhere else to go. I don't think any of us really do. Would you want to come with us? I mean, inside check. Ooh, okay. Um, would I... Also get to roll it. If you want. Well, do better. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> you can see in his eyes, his tired, tired eyes, dude. There, there's like a twinge. The offer means a lot to him, but he doesn't know if it's an offer for him. Not in the sense of that you're not extending it to him if it's but really it something up. he should be taking up. You hesitate. Is something holding you back? I don't really have much an aspiration in the world. He gestures at the island. Aside from Monty's death. But... He looks over at the rest of the group. Now that it's done, I... He takes a deep breath. I don't want to take his place. Not in your mind, nor your hearts. You won't. And you can't. It's not... You can't just replace someone, whether you try to or not. So I wouldn't worry about that. At the end of the day, it's your decision. But I can assure you, you will not replace him. Not in our hearts. And it's like you said, you don't really have much else planned. This could at least be a start to find something else to do. I have yeah. ideas. I have ideas. He looks over at the free marchers. If possible, I'd like to go to the Feywilds. Breach Auntie Blackreach's lab. see all there is to see learn he looks over back at you guys and I don't imagine you guys are attempting to go there 